Hi guys, this is Matt Granger, that Nikon guy. Welcome back to part three of our 50mm Prime Showdown. So far we've looked at build quality and specs, and then at the focusing capabilities of these lenses. In this part, we're going to look at image quality and sharpness. Now, I can tell you anecdotally from having used all of these four lenses, they're all acceptably sharp, they all have good image quality, but I know that's not gonna be enough for you, so we better do some tests, huh? I'm gonna run a series of tests on these, shooting wide open on each of the lenses to compare that, then at f2 on each of them, then at f8 on each of them, so that you can compare it. Now, I'm gonna be comparing the sharpness and image quality. I'm not going for subjects specially to show up the bokeh on these. Bokeh is gonna be part four of this series. So, let's get stuck in. Okay, now your optical properties of your lens will change depending on your focal distance. So here I'm gonna focus them all in at around 50 centimeters on that water bottle that I've got perched on my Low Pro 250 uh, Pro Roller light. And we're just gonna get some test shots at F8 to see how the image quality and sharpness looks at that close focusing distance. He's starting out with the 1.8D because that's the one that's on it right now. Now the 1.8G, and again, locked down on my Gitzo so nothing's moving anywhere. Next up, the 1.4G. And then finally, the 51.2. one2 Yeah, and just for fun, because it's starting to rain, Let's get one wide open so you can see the difference. Time for me to pack up for a while. Hey guys, so back again to continue the image tests. I went in, stopped raining, I've come back out, now it's raining again, of course. Um, what the hell, let's go for it. This camera's weatherproof, I'll just maybe won't film this test. I'm gonna be shooting this orange, it's got nice, great texture in its uh, skin and we'll be shooting that at f2 and f8 to compare the sharpness of the different lenses. Let's go. So we'll start out with the 1.8D. Now you would have seen this in the last video um, that they had trouble focusing here, but let's see, hopefully it's not gonna struggle too much now. Okay, so this is at f2. That's already lovely and sharp. Let's take a look at 100% crop from the center. And then at F8. Now by F8, most lenses are performing at their very best. So you can see there that's beautiful and crisp and there's the 100% crop. Okie dokie. Now let's have a look at the 1.8G at F2. That one's a little bit softer. Maybe it missed focus ever so slightly. And at F8. There at F8, the bricks even are lovely and sharp and at full crop. Now the 1.4G at F4, F2. The full shot there and the 100% crop. And F8. The full shot and the crop in the rain. And lucky last is the 1.2 at F2. And isn't that lovely? Don't worry, I will be doing some side-by-side -side comparisons in just a sec, and there's a full crop. And then at F8. F, and at F8, that's pin sharp as well. Okay, so let's compare them one after the other at F2. That's the 1.8D. That's the 1.8G. Remember, these are all at F2. That's the 1.4G and that's the 1.2 at F2. Now here they are all side by side, that's a center crop 100%. And I have to say, I think the 1.2 is sharpest. Now let's look at F8, that's the 1.8D at F8, the 1.8G, 1.4G, and finally the 1.2. Now let's throw them all side by side. Again, they're all looking really good, but I'd say to my eye, the 1.8G and the 1.2 are standing out in front. What do you think? Leave a comment. Lovely. Okay guys, so all of these lenses perform, as I said, well in the sharpness stakes. 
Um, I'll leave it up to you to make the final decision on which one you like the look of best and which one overall you thought was best. But doing the test today reminded me that I really ought to do a segment on vignetting as well because that's often a trade-off when you get a really fast lens that at the widest apertures you get a bit of vignetting. If you don't know what that is, it means when you get a bit of darkening in the edges. Getting a really fast lens that's bright and even in light all the way to the edges is quite difficult. So in the next episode, I think is going to end up being the most popular then, we're going to look at bokeh and vignetting before we go on to the final section which is my recommendations and conclusions. So I hope that's been useful for you guys. They're all great lenses. If you don't have a 50mm, you should have one in your bag, whether you're shooting FX or DX, they're fantastic. And I hope this series has been useful for you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click to like if you found this helpful. Share it with your friends and check out the links that are coming up. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Matt Granger, That Nikon Guy.